Hello everyone. Welcome to my online edu.com's video tutorial about building a chatbot using IBM Watson assistant tool. So this is the third part of the video where we'll see how to build a custom chatbot application using the IBM assistant tool and PHP as a server side language. So here basically what we'll do first is we'll go through the demonstration of the application first and then you know we'll see the in the underlying code of the PHP and the architecture how it is working so let's start the demo so I'm running it through a warm server WAMP warm server and uh, basically so that you can see the local host URL over here but you can deploy into your any web hosting service uh, you know I'll try to create another video to deploy it into Bluemix itself as a PHP application and we'll see if that is working from the Bluemix hosting service but right now let's start the demo okay so you see that this is about the restaurant bot correct so basically you can do three things with this bot which is either you can make a reservation cancel a reservation or reschedule a reservation so you see that you know it is giving a nice three buttons over here with the three options that you can put so you can say i want to do a make a reservation right so now you reply to the make reservation and the bot understands that you know you want to do a reservation so it's asking for about to enter the details of the date time and everything so you can type everything at a time or maybe one at a time so i'll try to do you know mix so here let's say you know i'll enter you know mix entry like on date let's say 29th april at 8 pm so basically date and time have been taken care so it's asking about how many people let's say 10 people and also which city maybe calcutta I'll put calcutta so and the name of the person let's say amal so it says you recognize the amal as person name and then the table for 10 on day 29th april and the time is 8 pm so in city kolkata you see that it's converted this Calcutta as a synonym of Kolkata. This is an entity conversion we have shown in our earlier video. So do you confirm the booking? I say yes or no. So you know just to showcase that these buttons are not hard coded. Basically these are coming from the uh, ODA, the cognitive uh, tool. So let's say you know let's type yeah. So if I type yeah what happens here that your reservation is confirmed reservation number is one please keep this number for future reference so what happens over here is i have created a mysql table with the reservation is the table name and this is the structure of the table so one record now has been entered with id1 this is my our reservation number and you see that date is 29th of april time is 8 entry is 10 and person name is amal city is calcutta and status is confirmed so uh, as you can see here is that you know Watson I can now you know from this chatbot from the one one side I am conversation uh, is going on with the Watson and finally when the action needs to be done so I am taking the action and putting the data into my MySQL table so I can do n number of things like here I am just inserting the data into MySQL table but I can do you know call a, another API another REST API or any other third party service or maybe updating multiple tables so that's up to your application so let's now take a look again so let me restart the conversation and right now you know what I'll do I'll say book a table for nine people on let's say I want a Saturday okay so 29th April okay 29th April at um, let's say 9 30 p.m. so I entered 
all the all my intention as well as the objects the data objects you know the entities all together so it recognize you know the bot book a table and then recognize you know which city basically so i have entered the number of people date and the time so i'll say you know this time i'll say capital of india i know people will type delhi because that is shorter than capital of india but just wanted to showcase that you know the intelligence part uh, of the board so capital of india is nothing but delhi so a name is let's say john so you know it takes the delhi as the capital of india and whether i am to you know confirm the booking or not if i say yes what happens is it it's processing the data and you know it's giving me the confirmation on the reservation and the reservation is basically confirmed so again let's look at this data over here so 29th of april again you know and at 9:30 you know there is a delhi and john that is confirmed now in similar way in similar way i can now you know cancel one of my reservation let's say i want to cancel the reservation it will ask me for the reservation number let's say i'll put two so basically you know it has cancelled the reservation let's see number two so this is cancelled you see over here so this has been cancelled so now let's try to showcase the other intention sorry that is schedule the reservation so it is asking me for entry of the reservation number so i'll say reservation number is 1 new date maybe 5th may and enter the new time maybe you know 7 pm so reservation number 1 is updated with my new times you see over here so and also the status is rescheduled so that is how the internal uh, demonstration of the chatbot application that you can simply you know build using the php okay so now let's take a look at the php coding part how this is basically working so the code is uploaded into github and accessible to everybody so you can look at the code over here so let's take a look at the key points of the code you know so index.php is the uh, the the index file so it it is getting started from here and then if you go to this app folder so basically you know uh, the global and the ebs chat so this is the chat page and in so basically you need to modify three things when you are doing the things at your end so you have need to put the url into this global.php folder so that's one change that you need to do when you are doing it you know at your system and then you need to go to the app folder app folder and again in the inside the app folder there is a ajax and you know there is a class and here there is a config file so you need to change you know your stuff uh, over here like you need to put your own what's and what's the id what's and you know username and password and then you know uh, the your server my school server details so let's take a look from where you know you can get this what's the id as well as the username and password okay so you can now you know from your dashboard you can go to your service which is what's an assistant okay and then from the front end itself you know there is the credentials part which is hidden now you can click the show button or you can go to the service credentials and there you know already there is a credential created so you can click this button to view the credential details or you can else you know you can create a new credential and also Uh, this will give you the username and password but to get the workspace id what you need to do you need to go to this manage and then the open the tool which will come here and from here you can see the view details so this is the workspace id you can copy it and then you can 
update the configuration details yeah over here the workspace id username and the password okay so this is one place that you need to change and another place is the, there is a chat js js.php this is the javascript file here you need to you know uh, change this directory name based on you know your directory structure so let's see you know how the things are working so i have created a class which is chat class and this is basically interacting with the watson this particular stuff you know function is basically is getting ca called from submin.php over here you can see and then you know uh, this so I'm checking here is if the action coming from the Watson context is action make reservation, then I'm doing the action accordingly. You see where I'm creating a reservation object and I'm creating the reservation. Similarly, for the cancel reservation, the same stuff. I'm doing the cancellation, but with the update and uh, also, you know, rescheduled reservation when I'm doing the reservation as a rescheduled. So, uh, you know, after that, you know, I'm just massaging the details. Uh, if I am getting a successful, then make, uh, making the color green or the color red. So you can design this stuff according to your own need. But this is how you know the things work. So basically, the chat JS here you'll see that there is a Ajax call from send chat text function. So this is actually calling the submit.php, and the submit.php in turn is calling this chat object and chat object is in turn calling the reservation object to create or cancel the reservations so that is how the things are working so hope you have enjoyed it and uh, let me know if you have any question queries so or also you know uh, don't forget to share the videos or like the videos or subscribe to our youtube channel thanks for watching